Hey everyone, this is Rex, and today I'm going to be going over the patch notes for September 2021. And it's not going to be a very long video, but it should be helpful and informative. If you like the video, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button down below. It does greatly help out my channel. And also the link to my Discord, which is free to join, will be linked in the description below. Hope you have a great day, and stay safe in Nora. So the highlights of this patch is the Agents of Change are now available for all Access members on all servers. For quests and events, the Blugi Shellcracker will no longer accept Water Dragon meat. However, his brother Rugi Shellcracker will be able to help you with that. NPCs that have an active loot lock will now only accept trades from players that belong to the credited party. Kikdu has found her voice and will be looking for assistance during the Night of the Dead. Arlian Brock has been seen hauling a large shipment of pumpkins. She should reach the Common Lands Tunnel just in time for the Knights of the Dead. For spells, they fixed an issue where Steadfast Servants would refuse to cast Servants Haste on players who have unlocked any ranks of the item Hidden Power or Ancestral Memories AA Ability Line. Dark Rites charges are no longer consumed when memorizing spells. They updated the confirmation pop-up box for translocate spells to not disappear if you enter combat. Updated the confirmation pop-up box for translocate spells to last for 2 minutes. And updated translocate spells to land on targets that are in combat, as long as the caster is not in combat themselves. They corrected an issue where the gambit line of wizard spells could cause a wizard to damage themselves with an unfitsome proc. For AA changes. They are correcting an issue with the AA Ability Companion's Discipline that granted the ability to use the Slash Pet Q Swarm command at the wrong rank. Correcting an issue where Pet Command Hotkeys would issue the wrong command. Hotkeys for Target, Swarm, Q Swarm, Resume, and SW Leave will need to be remade. Corrected an issue where the damage bonuses to archery and throwing from Weapon Mastery of the Scout and Weapon Mastery of the Juggernaut were giving only a small percentage of the intended bonus. They should now give roughly the same damage bonus seen for melee weapons. For NPCs, Veneral Sathir is no longer susceptible to mesmerization spells. The Seeds of Destruction Hunter achievements now have appropriate completion rewards. The Void Slayer achievement now grants a 28 slot bag and the title. Void Slayer and THE Void Slayer. The Expert Hunter Achievement now grants a 26 slot bag. The Veteran Hunter Achievement now grants a 24 slot bag. The Adapt Hunter Achievement now grants a 22 slot bag and the Novice Hunter grants a 20 slot bag. They added Missing Hunter targets to the respective achievements. Gates of Discord Hunter Ariwi Pixed Hickix. Gates of Discord Hunter Ariwi Pixed Kickix, however you pronounce that. Gates of Discord, Hunter of Kotas, Enslaved Vrex, Zealot, and Omens of War, Noble's Causeway, Stone Thrower. For the Overseer, they are making a speculative fix for to missing Overseer quests. For progression servers, fixed an issue with the loot on some prominent Valius raid targets that prevented proper randomization on Mischief and Thornblade. Reduced the respawn timer of Gloridan Coldheart by some amount. Miscellaneous fixes. Corrected an issue where NPCs would drop you from their hate list if you were too far away under the wrong conditions. Agents of Change are now available for all access members on all servers, like mentioned before. Login timeout errors no longer display the wrong error message, such as string not found. Added a chat message where receiving a translocate. The dialog box from the kick player's command will no longer invalidate other dialog boxes like those from translocate spells. Translocate spells can now be cast on yourself. And lastly, UI fixes. They corrected a spelling error when a player is too low level to give PvP points. Corrected an issue where heal over time spells will display negative values on NPCs. And fixed an issue where the reuse timer on activated items would sometimes fail to display correctly. And these are the patch notes for September 2021 in EverQuest. Thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed the video. And I hope you found the information about the upcoming patch going to be helpful.
Again, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. It does greatly help out my channel. And don't forget about the link in the description to my Discord, which is free to join. Again, have a great day. Stay safe in Norath.